Shalom and welcome to Branch of Israel. This is Rabbi Roger coming to you from God's beautiful country, Israel. When I was a new believer, I had the opportunity to go on a prison ministry tour with Bill Glass. For those of you who do not know who he is, he played college football in the 1950s, then went on to play professionally for the Detroit Lions in the 60s. During his prison tours, he used to bring professional athletes as well as others that gave their lives to Jesus. In between speaking engagements during a three-day tour, we would visit and eat with the prisoners. I gathered they liked having us there because I was told the food was better than what they normally would have. While I was roaming from area to area, I would run into the usual challenges most believers hear when witnessing. I'm a Muslim. Or, my background was so bad, how can a good God forgive me? Or, I did the worst thing unimaginable. There's no way God wants me. Well, recently God showed me through the lives of several people in the Bible how he can love them and allow them into the kingdom once they, like everyone else, turn their lives over to him. I'm sure there are more, but these were the ones highlighted to me. Eve, she was deceived by the devil. Abraham, grew up in an idolatrous household. Moses, anger issues even to the point of murder. David, a man of bloodshed, murderer, and adulterer. Solomon, lover of women. Samson, womanizer and prideful. Nebuchadnezzar, idol worshiper, murderer with hatred and anger. Paul, anger and a murderer. Nicodemus, tax collector and a thief. The thief on the cross with Jesus. Peter denied Jesus three times. Martha, most likely controlling because she wanted to please Jesus. Remember in 1 Peter 4 8, above all, keep fervent in your love for one another, because love covers a multitude of sins. Romans 3 23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. In other words, what can anyone do that would cause God to not allow them into his kingdom? There is one which we all know very well, and that is blaspheming the Holy Spirit. So no matter how bad your crime was, your sin, your life, your spouse or family, none of that can compare to God's love. No other God out there can offer you the love love and forgiveness that Jesus has to offer. Remember, he knew no sin and yet was willing to take it all. And I said all of it just for you. Be like Paul and do not look back. Do not let your past hold you back from crossing the finish line. God says that he no longer remembers your sins as far as the east is from the west. So face west towards the sunset and you can no longer see the east because it is behind you. Just because Lot's wife looked back does not mean that you have to. For more teachings and information, visit branchofisrael.com. That's branchofisrael.com. Again, this is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel. Thank you so much for listening. Lehitharad, goodbye, or see you again. Bye.